Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing a dribble challenge, meaning I'm gonna select a design on dribble and then try to implement that using uh, material design and um, any additional library that I might need to get that design done. Uh, currently on screen right now you can see I I'm in an existing Next.js app that I'm working on and um, I'm going to try to uh, to make the progress page uh, for this app and uh, so far I've been looking around Drupal and this is kind of what I found this is what I uh, saw that looked pretty cool so I'm going to try to be implementing this um, but um, as I said, it's a challenge, so I'm just going to be using a very limited amount of time here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be 15 minutes, basically. So up here, I have my stopwatch. And uh, yeah, I don't expect to get much done, but hopefully you guys will learn something along the way. And you can kind of see what my thought process is as well along the way. So let's, uh, let's try to get started here. Start the stopwatch and uh, let's jump into the code. So this is the progress page. Uh, my initial thinking here is just to create a component with a div and then have a look at the design here. So first of all, it seems like we need uh, this part up here. I'm gonna skip this for now. I'm just gonna create this, this main part. So it seems like we need a grid here uh, with two columns basically. So I'm gonna start off by creating that. So grid, import that. And I'm gonna create a container here. And I'm gonna create a grid item here. And I'm gonna distribute this to be column six, because we have two columns, right? And this grid is consisting of 12, okay? So this is the two, um, these two columns here. And we can see we have some text in here. So the first one, I'm gonna create a typography element here. We have a little bit of a small text, so I can use the variant caption here. Okay, and I'm gonna write diet, oh sorry, diet progress here. Underneath we have just, looks a bit like a heading, right? It's a little big, so I'm gonna add it variant h6 here and i'm just gonna write summary okay now next one we have this diagram and uh, inside this diagram or this chart even we had this it's like kind of like a paper so i'm gonna use the material paper for this and we can see we have some padding around this graph so i probably need to add that as well so let me add some inline styles here. There's some, some padding, that could be 10. Okay, and similar over here, like this one is on this screenshot is zoomed in, but basically what I'm expecting when you visit this page is that it looks similar to this one, right? So uh, I'm gonna also be needing a paper down here. But uh, it seems like I don't need the headline, so for now I can uh, omit that. So uh, in order for these to align, right, I also need this um, this typography. I used to move it out. So let's uh, move it up a little bit here to here. Okay, that looks uh, that looks good. Now. Um, yeah, since we have some some text here, I like to wrap it into a div just in case I need to align anything. Okay, cool. Now, what about down here? Down here we have a grid of four items, but I could see this one becoming a whole grid. So here I would actually use something like a flexbox perhaps or CSS grid, uh, but uh, Let's just create a very simple one for now. So between these two sections, we have some spacing. 
and there's a ton of different ways to do spacing, but let's just try to do an empty div with some height here, and then let's kind of copy this here, and then just put in some new text values here. Let's just do lorem for this one. All right. So uh, yeah, here is our four items and it looks very similar to a material UI card here. So um, what I can do is I can create a grid container again. And then since we are creating four here, just for showcase, probably I would need to define these four as some data points and then just loop over them. For example, let's just say uh, these are the plan, right? So cons plan, we need a date. And we need a name. Lots of fiber. And we need also some other other stuff basically. Anyway, let's just uh, leave it like that and then do then here we can do a plan map and then for each plan item we can render out a card. So this first part looks very much just like um, card content. So inside the card, we want some card content. This is where the padding comes in, uh, inside the card. And then at the top, it seems like we have a fixed container, right? With space between here. So we can do, uh, actually we can use grid container again. So grid container. And then in justify, we just put space between to make sure that these two are separated. Uh, for now I'm just going to put a, use a placeholder icon. So could be add. Make need to make sure we wrap put the grid item here in these two. And we need to make sure that we also wrap our icon in an icon button since this seems to be clickable or at least the right side seems to be clickable because this is like a more option okay so uh, maybe this shouldn't be an icon button but we just leave it as an icon button for now okay and then the second grade item here now we have some stuff let's just see if it's actually working so let me go to progress All right, that seems that seems okay. That seems okay, actually. Um, all right, so let's look at the design again. Okay, so we have some some more text, and this is definitely more at like paragraph level. So underneath here, we can put a paragraph, and that will be a typography. Let's just put Florin pen. A little long but at least now we get some some text in here and uh, you need to remember when we do this grid container we can add the spacing property so I can add in spacing free make sure these items they get a little bit of spacing oh sorry I also need to wrap a grid item here otherwise it doesn't know how to apply that spacing Oh, it's already eight minutes, so this seems a little uh, difficult to reach in time. Okay, let's just add one more item to see the spacing. It's looking very good. All right, so as you can see up here, we don't have that spacing there as well. So if you jump down to this part, we can also add spacing here. 
Maybe spacing two is okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, spacing two looks okay. So we kind of got this stuff out of the way. What about this chart? I want to use a little bit of time on these charts. And uh, I need to. And a good idea for charts is to using a library. And I want to be using recharts. So my approach for getting started with a library is just following the instruction. So npm installing it. I already. I did this because I was just testing around with this library and the uh, next next part is basically to um, to choose some examples here so what I have first of all is what I classify as a simple area chart so my approach would be to, to copy paste the example and then just modify it as I need it so this is a little Janky. Let's see if we can go into JS Fiddle maybe. Yeah, it's a lot better. So copying this in, I see the array chart. Where do we need that? We need that on the right side. Okay, so here. Uh, let's see here inside this paper. We need our chart. Okay, inside here. And uh, there's a bunch of imports here. And actually one thing that's not so great about this library is that it's not supported with, like it doesn't have TypeScript support so I need to be ma manually adding these. So area chart, card, PC and grid, uh, x axis, y axis I believe. Yes, and then area. And also tooltip, let's just remove that one for now. Save that. Area chart. Okay. And then the data part as well. Let's just copy that one as well. And let's just put it out here. Cool. Let's just see if that works real quick. Let's see if we get our chart. Okay. We copied and pasted and we got our chart. That's perfect. Now what's the other chart that we need? Hmm, looks like bar chart, right? So let's see, example, example, simple bar chart that's here. Okay, let's try to reuse the same data and then just get this bar chart in here. So bar chart, do, 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 do. what is it? It's inside this paper here. Okay, make sure we add the missing import. We can remove some of these, they might not be needed initially. So we need bar chart and bar. Bar chart and bar. Okay, that should potentially rent out something. Have a look. All right. So there's a little bit of jankiness here with the sizing. Uh, in recharts, it depends on your library, I guess. Uh, you can wrap um, in recharge. You can wrap your chart in a responsive drawer. So if we a container even responsive container here, uh, since we're using the grid, which is responsive. So yeah, I can I can I can, I can do this. So let's see. We don't have too much time here. So responsive container. Remove this width and height. This is what we defined on the responsive container. And let's remove this margin stuff. And then we just put in width here, 100%. And then the height we want. So maybe height 300. Two minutes left. Okay, let's try to copy this. Actually, let's import that responsive container first. Let's just check the documentation if you're doing it right. So responsive container. Here seems like the styling is applied on the parent, but we can also do it on the responsive container itself. We should be able to. Anyway, let's see. Okay, it does rent out something. I can't tell if it's responsive at this point, but we can do some debugging later. So uh, let me just do the same thing for the bar chart. Uh, 
Close the container. All right, that's it's looking better. It's definitely looking better. Uh, how much? We have one minute left. What else can we add in here? Uh, in this paper, it seems like we have some some text here and also some uh, also an icon here. So actually, what we can do is doing something similar as before. We're adding a grid container. We do justify space between two grid items one of is one of them is text and the size is like mm, caption level i would say so putting caption here and in just add some just some dummy text for now and then on the other end of this grid we have an icon button Automatic import is failing, so that icon we're looking for. I've used it quite a lot, so I know it's more vertical outlined. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, we are actually over time now, so let's just have a last look here. Okay, yeah, that looks looks okay. We're definitely in the right direction, but uh, yeah. That's that's all we uh, we get to do for now. Um, I hope this video was helpful in thinking uh, material UI when creating your components, like what components to use in what situation and how to go on about it when you're looking at a design like this. If you want me to finish this design, uh, spend a little more time on it, maybe even do kind of like a time lapse or something where you quickly want run through through it uh, let me know and uh, if not i'll see you in the next one